Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Tropico 5. Okay, we already have uh, four houses that I'm working on building over here. And um, so I suppose there's no real point in starting more, but I do want to start Fresh more. And and don't research that. Don't you know that if you do, you will then research socialism, which everyone knows is bad. We should stick to our current model of capitalist cronyism. I, my friends, and all my relatives think that is the best model for government. All right, so we have, in fact, researched socialism. Before I do anything else, let's go for the next one. Um, jewelry factory, huh? All right, I think I'll go for military skills first. Given that we are facing a military challenge, first and foremost. And um, what I was going to say is I want to build another row of houses behind these. And really try and get my homeless population way down. Uh, let's see what this is about. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. They're unhappy with their life. Um, Elections are coming, Presidente. As our constitution dictates, we have scheduled mandatory elections for 12 months from now. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Um, I'll go with Tonio. That was my original character, as I recall. So, before, i got to be careful here with the time because of the stupid 12-month thing. Uh, our population is pretty thin here, so <laughs> it wouldn't be that difficult for us to lose. And um, housing is definitely going to be part of what I want to try to do. And I wonder if I did something as simple as just build another tavern, you know, if that would help as well. I'm going to make this high priority as well. Okay, good. So I guess we have finished three of the four housing units. And you would think this would be a pretty good start, right? On the whole... Hey, let's fix the homeless problem. And let's just come out. Actually, I want to come out a little bit farther. And then come out this way. And then now, well again, let me... Um, okay, that's already on high priority. And then we'll go ahead and drop a couple more down here. Uh, yep, that's what I want. There we go. Now, like, don't even freaking tell me that this shouldn't make a difference. Because it absolutely should. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll drop a tavern here because, you know, why not? We could do a restaurant too. Uh, effectiveness increases based on food variety. Let's try a tavern first. I rather like that idea. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. I still need to build a pair of barracks, too. Yeah, actually, let's take a look at that now. Mm, holy crap, 8,900. That's good news. I think I'm going to wait until after the elections to do that. I could think about building the other fishing wharf. Just to finish this stupid quest. 
The only thing is, I don't, I don't like just queuing up endless construction projects. I kind of want to let, you know, these housing units finish. At least those finished. Let me go ahead and bump that up. So just out of curiosity, I don't know if um, this will have taken any yes, we, we still supposedly have 100 people. I wonder if it just isn't taking into account the ones that we've already uh, built. So four families. Hmm. I can't tell. No, they're fully, it's fully occupied. Three out of four, four out of four, four out of four, three. Yeah, so this is the only one that's not practically full. I mean, seriously, man, what am I supposed to do? I still haven't staffed up all of these guard towers, even though I've got two high schools. Ugh. And I haven't. All right, let me do this. Gosh, it's frustrating. Which one is this? The police station. And of course it needs high school workers. So here's a serious question. Do I actually just need yet more high schools? I wonder. Seriously. This one only has 13 uh, students so far. So that suggests to me that maybe if I built another one, we wouldn't fill it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we still haven't finished with these homes. Yeah, it's still at 0%. Okay, well, I guess I can't do much about that. I cannot do much about that. I guess I do need to speed it up. Yeah, so the question is... I oh. Great news! Uh, okay, we can have 30 people immigrate to the island. I don't really need 15,000. I'll take 30 people. Hopefully some of them will have a freaking high school education, because... That's what I need right now, more than pretty much anything. So I also need to try somehow and figure out a way to uh, make people more happy. Let me see. Um, this isn't really telling me a ton. Overall happiness is 37, which doesn't seem that good to me. Crime safety seems, you know, very good. That's the highest score I have. Entertainment is not great. Maybe I should go ahead and build a restaurant. My housing score is still crap. Jeez, man. And I have unemployed people. Okay, you know what? That, hold on, that tells me something. I am dying for people who have a high school education, but I still have unemployed workers. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to build some more kind of low skill stuff. So I'm going to throw a mine down here. And I know, yeah, we had another one over here. Boom. Now, um, we want a road. Because we need one. <laughs> okay. Come on. done now over here no for some reason there we go done 
All right, so that'll give me more, you know, uneducated jobs, which we apparently need. You figure someone who's working is someone who's going to be more happy. Now, can I do anything about, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I do anything about healthcare? Um, I remember that um, hospitals were a thing, if I can find it. A clinic. Okay. Now, unfortunately, you know that's going to require high school educated workers, maybe more. But these things, I think, will help us. It does appear to me that all of these homes I'm building are being occupied too and um, that says a lot now maybe the other thing I should do for residential is I'm gonna go ahead and do a mansion because um, I'm sure by now we must have more affluent people and they need homes too and they'll be happier in a mansion all right, well, I've kept it on pause all this time. Let's go ahead and just speed it up. Actually, I'll go back down to normal. So how far away am I? The election is in just three months. See, the problem I'm going to have is the stuff isn't going to take effect. I'm going to have to try and um, buy the election, I guess. That's good news. <laughs> I feel really good about that. We're probably screwed. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait. I'm at 51. This is going to be close. There's my 30 new citizens. Just in time. Hopefully, they're all high school educated. Seriously. <laughs> Please bring a diploma and take a job. And then all of you need to vote for me. Oh, you know what I never did? I, I built a new dock. And then, ugh, I forgot, hold on, import iron from Venezuela. Yeah, I was going to do that. And then I was going to build we a have an opportunity steel mill. To influence the outcome of coming elections. Strictly speaking, this is not considered exactly legal. Yep, I'm going to do it because I'm really, really tight. Okay, hold on. Where's, um, here's the steel mill. I could have sworn we were supposed to get that free. Whatever. I don't care. Maybe not. Now I remember. It wasn't that we were going to get this for free. It was just that um, we could get some cheap ore. So there's yet another thing we're going to build. All right. Well, we have one month to go until the election. And I'm kind of regretting doing that. Um the election thing. I should have more faith in my policies. But you do kind of lose the game, I think. <laughs> the election if you lose. Thanks to a clever interpretation of the numbers, we've decided that you have won. Presidente. It may have taken a few extra ballots here and there, but we've managed to secure 56% of the vote for you. All right. Well, I'm not especially proud of that, but, um, yeah. All right, let me build our second fishing wharf, and that'll clear that out. I need... It's a great time to be a diplomat. If... I need to invite a foreign power. I'm going to invite the Good allies. show, old chap. Those Axis fellows give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm afraid this also means I will have to consort with those even snobbier than I. Yet such is the fate of any good diplomat. 
I think I'm going to take a 10% increase of export prices for two years. I, I'm not sure, but I suspect we'll get the most out of it that way. Let me check our enrollment here. We're at 10 out of 15, 13 out of 15. So that tells me that I don't need another high school. Um, you know, it seems like we've pretty well satisfied the demand in terms of how many children we have. So I could definitely use more high school graduates, uh, but that said, we, um, we only have so many people of that age, so can't do much about that. Yeah, oof. I'm not happy really with how I'm doing in a lot of these, these things. I'm gonna go ahead and ease up on my budget here and if some people dropped out of the distillery and joined the military, you know what? I'd be okay with that. Okay. Um, I actually think, well, we're already building this. I have so much Present stuff Benson, queued up. We discovered a way to decrease casualties in battle. We just have to put the most incompetent and useless soldiers up in front of the army and make them wear ornate uniforms in bright colors. This will make them feel important and add to their self-esteem while keeping them out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's how it would work. What shall we do next? Well, maybe go for a bank. I don't actually know what that does for you. Okay, how am I doing? The church finally has enough people. This church has enough people. I actually think uh, these high schools are doing as good. It's just taking time to catch up with all the demand. So I think if we can just kind of, you know, hang on for a while, uh, our happiness is gonna go up pretty smartly. So my entertainment still sucks. Amazingly, housing is still bad. It's like I just literally cannot build enough houses <laughs> to satisfy people. Well, it's not to satisfy people. It's to hold them all. The, and those two are barely a start as well. It's just insane. I don't even know how many I need. I guess a lot. Um, yeah, this wharf still needs to be made. And what about the mine over here? It's still in progress. Let's go ahead and boost it. Jeez, man. Should I just keep building over here? I could do that. We could um, throw another one to, yeah, I'll just do that. I may do another mansion too while I'm at it. Just for grins. The great communist revolution started in Russia. Unfortunately, it was a resounding success. Now they have no one to revolt against. Okay, uh, I'm supposed to pay $10,000 to import the communist revolution? I don't really understand that. Why do I want to do that? Yeah, I don't pay for the revolution. What revolution? <laughs> I guess I'm just being dense, but I don't see this as something I want. Yeah, I'm just leaving that alone, I think. Okay. Um, so I've already got mines being built. I've got a wharf being built. 
What I really want is to maybe put something like a restaurant down. But I mean, it gets kind of ridiculous because, you know, like I just have so much stuff that I'm in the midst of making. And then it just sits in the queue. And I feel like I just keep adding to that. My happiness is creeping higher. I guess I'll just speed up the clock. And actually, you know what I just realized is uh, I shouldn't even continue. Um, we've probably gone about as far as we should in that in this installment. So that's all for now. When we come back, uh, we'll keep trying to work through our backlog of stuff we need to build, get our happiness up, and get ready for the ceasefire to end. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.